A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 30th September. On the front page you have a week after high profile MOU questions cloud Petronet Tellurian deal. So this is regarding Petronet the Indian petroleum company Indian PSU. With it had a deal an MOU signed with American LNG company liquefied natural gas company Tellurian. So one week after it was announced uh, with considerable fanfare when Prime Minister Narendra Modi was in USA, he, now several loose ends are you know, been coming out. So it is a $2.5 billion investment planned by Indian PSU in America. So the first sign of trouble for the deal uh, which came after the signing is when it became clear that there was that what was signed in the presence of Mr. Modi was not the actual agreement but only a second memorandum of agreement, understanding, a second MOU was signed. So Petronet and Tellurian had already signed an MOU in Feb 2019 for 5 million tons of LNG a year and an 18% equity stake. And Tellurian had promised to make a final investment decision and begin construction in first half of 2019. But this has not taken place. So this is there. And uh, the question was raised why the deal could not be signed in time. Tellurian said that the current MOU was more focused without giving details of how it differed from the previous ones. Petronet stocks plunged 7% when Indian markets opened last Monday over this news of massive investment in USA. Also, the board of Petronet, the Indian PSU's board, it had also disfavored the Tellurian deal in May 2019. So this is also a report which has come, Petronet has not denied this report too. Also the reasons for the board's dissatisfaction or not favoring this deal was because of major price drop in LNG. So LNG has seen a major price drop and India's demand shortfall you know, as such uh, is also there. So we do not have so much demand and expected LNG supply from Indian market is also there. A negative experience with locking in contracts for a long period of time has also been a concern. So why should we lock in with uh, with such a contract, a long term contract is what is were, were the concerns raised by Petronet's board. But still as it is a PSU, it went ahead and signed this deal with much fanfare and now these concerns have been raised. Then below you have election commission cut short Disqualification term of Sikkim CM Tamang. So here you can see Sikkim Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang, who had been barred from contesting elections for six years after the completion of one year prison term for graft in 2018, was granted a reprieve by the Election Commission of India, which reduced the disqualification period from six years to just a year and one month, 13 months. So he did not contest the assembly elections held this year. But uh, you should know that uh, the political party Sikkim Krantikari Morcha uh, part 2 which, which he leads is a BJP ally and he was appointed as the chief minister now. So he did not contest elections but now his disqualification term has been cut and he has become the chief minister of Sikkim. Then this is as prices soar center bans onion exports and imposes stock limits. So, as onion prices are skyrocketing, government is taking action. It has prohibited onion exports until further notice and imposed limit on the stocks that can be held up to prevent hoarding. You can see retail price has shot up to 60 rupees a kg. In metropolitan cities, 1.2 had even touched 80 rupees per kg of onion. Then this is block level elections in Jammu and Kashmir on October 24. So to give a major push for new grassroots leadership via BDCs that is district uh, development boards as such. So this elections for block development councils will take place. So every district development board will have elected block development council chairpersons as well as members and also MLAs and MPs of the region are part of this block development councils. On page 9 you have obesity and undernutrition coexist, fines study. So this is regarding how nearly 10% of children in the age group 5 to 9 years and adolescents in the age group 10 to 19 years are pre-diabetic and 5% are overweight and another 5% suffer from blood pressure. 
So these are the key findings of first ever national nutrition survey conducted by the central government. And the results are yet to be made public, but it is for first time providing hard evidence of coexistence of obesity and undernutrition among school going through children. So this is comprehensive national nutrition survey conducted by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and UNICEF. So UNICEF coordinated with it between it was conducted between 2016 and 2018. It was undertaken to measure malnutrition, including micronutrient deficiency through biochemical measures such as blood and urine samples, you know, anthropometric uh, data, as well as details of non communicable diseases. So, all have been taken together. So here you can see it took anthrop anthropometric data that means weight of weight for age, height for age, weight for height and mid upper arm circumference etc. So here you can see the number of deviations you know, as such our maximum here you can see is in Tamil Nadu has maximum deviation that is uh, the highest number of adolescents who were either overweight or obese Tamil Nadu and Goa. Then below you have International Astronomical Union names asteroid after Pandit Jasraj. So, uh, International Astronomical Union has named an asteroid discovered in 2006 after Indian classical singer Pandit Jasraj. So, formally it is uh, asteroid which are minor planets. They are located between Mars and Jupiter and this one was discovered in 2006 as such by Kathleen Sky Survey whose telescopes are based in Arizona in USA. The privilege of naming a planet is first given to the discoverers. So, they have 10 years to propose a name and is, uh, if the discoverer team is actually supposed to write a short citation explaining the reason for assigning the name according to International Astronomical Union guidelines. So, this is how naming takes place. So, Pandit Jasraj as such has been uh, you know, honored with this. Uh, but then it is not known who proposed Pandit Jasraj's name as of now. So, here is the case. There are also other such personalities that after whom minor planets have been named, asteroids have been named like Johann Bach, uh, Ludwig van Beethoven, Rabindranath Tagore. So, there are asteroids named after them. On the editorial page, you have first editorial, Home and Abroad. So, this is regarding how India must take its place in the world by privileging universal rights everywhere. So, if you want to be a global leader, then we should uphold human rights in the country as well as worldwide, bring in, you know, excellence in various sectors like health, education. So, this is in context of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's speech at United Nations. And this is trust deficit. So, this says that failures such as PMC banks must be preempted to retain public faith in the system. The way PMC bank was made to, you know, action was taken against it, it made, it put people in jeopardy. So, the people who had accounts in the PMC bank. So, retaining public faith in the banking system as such requires that such PMC bank failures should be preempted. So, it's action taken should be preemptive so that such uh, disaster does not take place where common man gets affected. There were limits put if you could recollect on PMC banks withdrawals for earlier, earlier 10,000 uh, rupees now 10,000 rupees limit. And this is strictures in the name of security. So the curfews, detentions and lockdowns in Kashmir it is said have only made the border and our forces more vulnerable on Kashmir and this is seeking harmony and moderation in Ayodhya talks. So, this article says that as both parties have expressed faith in mediation now, emphasis must be on healing minds and hearts as the Supreme Court had originally suggested. Then on opet page here you have two Asian powers and in Ireland. So, this is regarding Sri Lanka. It is said unlike China, India has not accomplished much in Sri Lanka in the Sri Sena years. So, during uh, Matipala Shri Sena's term as the president of Sri Lanka, we had 
China uh, undertaking lot of initiatives here, infrastructure and otherwise. But India's uh, contribution and uh, you know, initiatives in Sri Lanka have been minimal. Then, then on international page you have Hong Kong protests intensify ahead of China's National Day. So Hong Kong, Hong Kong police fired water cannon, rubber bullets and round after round of tear gas at petrol uh, bomb and brick throwing protesters in Hong Kong. So this is some of the most widespread violence in more than three months of anti-government protests which have been going on in Hong Kong. So even UK foreign minister has now said that we won't look the other way when people are beaten. So Hong Kong protests continue. Again, Brexit issue continues. Afghanistan saw elections. So we'll get the results. That time we'll cover it in news. So that is there on international page. On Mondays on business page, there's not much news. It's money-wise coverage, which is there. So that's not important. And then you have sports coverage, which is not important. So that is it. These were the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asha.com. You can download the daily current affairs PDFs there too. Thank you.